Hey everybody, this is Mr. Math Blog, and this is 8th uh, grade, our first lesson in 8th grade. And we're going to split this lesson into two parts because um, it's long. So anyways, uh, the first part we'll talk about um, uh, changing decimals to fractions and changing fractions to decimals. So, And then the second part, which will be part two, you notice it says part one right here. So uh, part two will be, um, we'll be doing square roots and cube roots and all that. So as soon as we get there. So there's our, our common core strand for our groovy teachers. And then our, our essential question is how can we rewrite rational numbers and decimals? And then in, in the part two, we'll take square roots and cube roots and approximate uh, irrational numbers. Okay, that'll be part two, okay? All right, so expressing uh, rational numbers as decimals. Okay, so a rational number is any number that can be written in the ratio, uh, written as a ratio. Ratio is just a fraction, you guys. Uh, a over B, okay, where A and B are both integers, like 5 or negative 2 or negative 7 or 11 or any counting number and any negative counting number. And the only integer we have to exclude is 0 in the bottom. We can't have 0 because we can't divide by 0. If you took any number in a, say, in a calculator and you did, say, 10 divided by 0, it would say E or Air or something on there, okay? So we just can't divide by 0. So this is an integer this is an integer they both could be positive they both could be negative one could be positive one could be negative so anyways so rational numbers um, examples of rational numbers are 6.5 and 0.33333 because 6 you guys 6 is the same as 6 over 1 so see how these are both integers now so I can write 6 as a fraction 6 over 1 integer integer what fraction is 0.5 well that's 1 half okay so 1 half is 0.5 and what do you guys know what 0.33333333 is goes on forever and ever and ever I'll show you that later but it's one third okay so 0.3333 can be written as uh, 1 over 3 or one third okay every rational number can be written written as a terminating decimal or a repeating decimal. A terminating decimal, like the one we did up here, 0.5, uh, has a finite number of digits. It just means it stops, it terminates, so 0.5, and it doesn't keep going. A repeating decimal is like this one, 0.3333. It just repeats and goes on forever and ever and ever. It goes on indefinitely, okay? Okay, all right, so here we go. So um, it says uh, write each fraction as a decimal. Oops, I didn't catch that, so I should have taken that away right there. That's in our next step right there. Okay, so pretend like that's not there. All right, I know what I'll do. Well, it's okay. Um, anyway, so when we have this one-fourth, you guys, some of you guys already know what decimal is one-fourth, and all, I'm sure you guys know, but this is how we do this. We, we divide the denominator in the, the numerator and do a little bit of long division. I know, your favorite. Okay, so how many times does four go into one? Zero. So what we have to do is, is add add a point in a, a zero zero okay so here I'm going to add some zeros so let's add a decimal right here and a decimal right here and we'll add two zeros right here and then we'll just keep dividing okay so now we can ask ourselves and notice we added the decimal straight up on top four goes into ten two times so we'll put two right there okay so and then four times that two okay so now we're going to go 4 times 2 is 8, and we write it right underneath here. Does this ring a bell from, I think it was 3rd and 4th grade? Okay, 4 times 2 is 8, and then we subtract, okay? 10 minus 2, okay, I know it's 1.0, but pretend like the decimal isn't there right now. So this is 10, did I say 10 minus 2? 10 minus 8 is 2, okay? And then we slide down this next 0, okay? So... When we slide down the next digit right there, then we ask ourselves, how many times does 4 go into 20? 4 goes into 20 five times, and then we subtract, and we get 0. And once we get 0 as a remainder, we're done with our division process. All right, so, so that means that this 1 fourth right here equals 0.25, okay? So 1 fourth is is uh, 0.25. Now, we'll talk about decimal place value again, but this ends in the, this is the tenths, this is the hundredths, this is 25 hundredths right there. So, um, uh, one-fourth is the same as 25 hundredths, okay, or 0.25, okay? All right. Uh, okay, let's do one-third, okay? So let's divide three goes into, um, three goes into one zero times, so we'll go three goes into ten, okay? So three goes into ten 
uh, 3 times, and we multiply 3 times 3 is 9, and then we subtract, and we get 1 again. And then we slide it down, and we get 10 again. And then 3 goes into 10 again 3 times, and we get 9, and then we subtract, and we get 1 again. It just keeps repeating and repeating and repeating. This is always going to be 1 with a 0, so 10, and then we're going to go 3 goes into 10 3 times, so it's just going to continue 0 0.33333. 3, 3, 3. So that's why 1 third equals 0 0.33333, 3, 3, 3, 3. okay? So, uh, and we can represent that uh, with a bar on top, and this bar on top right here just means that this digit repeats, so 0 0.33333, 3, 3, 3. so, so one-third equals 0 0.3 with a bar, okay? All right, so let's keep going. Whoops, you see my divisions to process again. That's okay. All right, so let's do 511. So 11 goes into 5.00. Okay, we're going to put a zero here and a decimal right here. It goes in there zero times. Okay, and then um, uh, uh, 11 goes into 54 times. 11 times 4 is 44, and then we subtract. Okay, 50 minus 44 is 6, so we're going to slide down the next 0. 11 goes into, I, le I left off a couple of zeros, that's okay, I'll put them back in there. 11 goes into 65 times, and 11 times 5 is 55, and then we subtract, and we get 5 again. Okay, do you see we had 5 way up here in the beginning? It's going to, looks like it might start repeating, because we started with 5. 50, so when we slide down the next zero, it's going to get us 50 again. So let's just see what this pattern does, okay? So let's go ahead and slide that down. 11 goes into 54 times, we get 44, and we subtract, and we get 6, and we slide that next guy down, and we get 60. 11 goes into um, uh, 65 times, 55. So this one's 0 0.45, 45, 45, 45, so we're going to say 0.45 with a bar on top of that, and that just just means that the the two digits are repeating. So five elevenths equals zero point four five four five four five. We just write four five with a bar on that. Okay, let's go over here. So eight goes into one, and we'll go point zero zero. And I'm going to do one more zero, I think. Uh, well, I think we're going to have to add a zero. You'll see why in just a second. Okay, so 8 goes into uh, 1 zero times, so put a decimal. Then 8 goes into 10 once. Okay, so 10 minus 8 is 2. And then slide down the next digit. 8 goes into 20 two times, which is 16, and then uh, subtract, 20 minus 16 is 4, slide down the next digit, okay, now 8 times 5 is 40, and then we finally get a remainder of 0, so 1 eighth is 0 0.125, okay, now, we'll talk about this in a second, so this is the tenths place, the hundreds place, the thousands place, so this is read as 125 thousandths, because it ends in the thousands place. All right, now, this one here, you guys, 2 and 1 third. We already know 1 third is 0 0.3333333. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. So uh, 2 uh, and 1 third is going to be 2.33333 3, 3, 3, 3, or 2.3 with the bar on it, okay? We already know what 1 third is that, okay? All right. Now, if you were in my high school class, I would not let you use calculators, particularly particularly the first semester. So you'd be doing this with the long division on, on paper. I know that sounds mean, but that's that's our policy at our high school. We just don't let uh, students in IM1, Integrated Math 1, use calculators. So if your teacher is doing that, that's because they want you to use your brain, you guys. I tell my students, you turn on your calculators and turn your brains off. and and we want you to, you know, don't give up on your on your division skills. You can do it. You just don't want to, okay? If it was as exciting as Fortnite, you guys would be all over long division, but it's not. So you guys can do it. You just don't want to, and you'd just rather just kind of, I don't know, uh, just don't give up on it, you guys. That didn't take that long. Anyways, you guys, decimal place value, you guys. Let's, let me, uh... Uh, let me grab this guy right there so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so um, uh, here's the decimal right here. This decimal point is the word and when we say a number right here. When we go to the left, it's the ones, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands. When we go to the right, it ends with a THS. And there is no once. It starts with tens. Tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. So this number right here, okay, is red. As you can hear, I'm out in out in the parking lot right now and you hear cars go by so so three thousand six hundred eighty four and twenty six 
hundredths. Okay, that's what that's how you'd read that decimal right there. All right, so we can express terminating and repeating decimals as rational numbers. So that's what we're going to do here. Okay, now this uh, five ends in the, this is the tens, hundreds, thousands. This is in the thousands spot. So this is read as eight hundred twenty-five thousands. Okay, so 825 thousandths is just 825 over 1,000 because it ends in the thousands. Okay, now we just start reducing, you guys. Now, if you know that uh, 25 goes into both of those, 25 goes into 825, you can divide them by 5 first if you want, and then just keep dividing, dividing, dividing. But if we divide them by 25, we're going to get uh, 33 over 40 right there. Okay, so 0 0.825 is 33 fortieths right there. Okay, <clears throat> all right, so 0 0.3737, 3737, okay, there's a trick on this, you guys, and this is how you do it. You first let X equal that repeating, uh, those repeating digits, 373737, 3737, with the point right there. Now, since two digits are repeating, you guys, then we're going to multiply both sides of this equation by 10 squared. Notice this 2 represents this 2 right here. 10 squared is 100. So if one digit was repeating, I'd multiply it by 10 to the first. If three digits were repeating, I'd multiply it by 10 to the third, okay? Now what happens, you guys, is I'm going to multiply this side by 100 and this side by 100. Do you remember what happens to a decimal when you multiply by 100? It's going to move that decimal two places to the right right there. Okay, so we're going to get 100x equals 37.373737. Multiplying a decimal by 100 moves that decimal two places to the right. All right, and then we subtract, you guys. We're going to subtract, um, uh, take away this one from this one. So this equation is going to go on top and put this one on bottom, and then we're going to subtract. Now watch this trick right here. Now when we subtract, 100x minus x is 99x. Okay, over here, 37. 0.373737 minus the 0.373737. The decimal parts cancel out, so we're just left with 37 minus 0. Okay, so we get 99x equals 37. And then divide both sides by 99, so x equals 37 over 99. And 37 is prime, so that's our answer right there. 0 0.37 with a bar on it is 37.99. Okay, pretty cool trick. All right, let's try this with this one. Okay, so here. We'll let x equal our repeating decimal right here. Here we only have one digit repeating, so we're going to multiply it by 10 to the 1 power, or just 10. Okay, so here it is. So it moves the decimal over one place right there. So when we multiply it by 10, moves it over one place. Okay, and then we're going to subtract again. So when we subtract, uh, we're going to put the, the 10x on top and the x on bottom. 10x minus 1x is 9x. And then here, you guys, 2.22222 minus the 0.22222. The decimal parts cancel out right there, and we get 9x equals 2. So x equals 2 ninths. So the 0.2 with the bar on it is 2 ninths as a, as a decimal right there. Pretty slick, huh? All right, let's keep going here. Let's do a few more, and then we'll wrap it up with these. Okay, so 12 is, uh, or point 12 ends in the hundredths spot. So 0.12 is 12 hundredths. Okay, so write it as 12 over 100. Divide by 4. Okay, 12 divided by 4 is 3. 100 divided by 4 is 25, 3 25 Okay, 0 0.57, 57, 57, 57. Let x be that. Two digits are repeating, so we're going to multiply it by 10 to the... 2 power, so that's 100, so it moves the decimal over 2 places, and then we subtract. Okay, when we subtract, we get 99x, the decimal parts cancel out, so we get divide by uh, 99. Now you guys, check this out, I almost fell for this trap right here. This is divisible by 3, do you know the trick for divisibility by 3? Add the digits, 5 plus 7 is 12, since uh, 3 goes into 12, 3 goes into 57. In fact, 3 times 20 is 60, so 3 times 1 less than 20 is 19 will give us this. This is 3 times 19. This is 3 times 33, so if we divide that by 3, we get 19 over 33. Okay, <clears throat> this is read as 1. Remember, this decimal is the word and, 1 and 4, and it ends in the tenth spot, 1 and 4 tenths, okay? So let's write it, 1 and 4 tenths, and then just reduce the 4 tenths, divide it by 2, we get 1 and 2 fifths right there. 
All right, you guys, I hope that lesson makes sense, and hope you guys have a great year. And be nice to your teachers. Take care.